Steve Seaworth has a very interesting job. Uh, we teach state and local, state department and military, both post-blast and for the explosive recognition and ID exploitation course. That's Erie and it's geared towards intel analysts. I gauge the, uh, the instruction, what we do, teach them explosives and explosive effects. Teach them spices, switch, power source, initiator, container, explosives, and if there's any shrapnel. So what we do at this stage is they're actually going through the debris and separating it out into what they believe are those categories. But if you ask him to explain in detail, it could get a little confusing. <laughs> I took the actual receiver out of its cot's housing. I could have put a buzzer on here, but I like Christmas tree lights. JDQ and the JD4s, they kind of fell off in 05. I have to completely remove the power from the SCR. PT2272L4 latching. Whether you understand him or not, that information has a very important goal. That is the, the segue into working the full-blown car scenes uh, later on this afternoon. And more importantly, real-world application. The whole thing is to identify the bomb maker, the cell, to identify the groups or groups of people that could be responsible in designing or building these devices. Even if you don't catch the person, what you're trying to do is make them quit. Just make them stop. Once you're on it, you want to make them stop. Make them hide, make them go on the ground, then you have longer time to conduct your investigation. So you may wonder, how does one get a job like Steve's? Accident. Oh, so right. when I got out of the Army, um, I went to college, used the GI Bill, got a degree in uh, U.S. history, and then uh, started looking for anything that fell under counterterrorism that didn't involve deploying. I found TDAC, the terrorist explosive device on the local center, and I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. I enjoy it. So I've wanted to work for ATF from day one, and I haven't been disappointed yet.